Good morning, good morning, good morning, good early morning. We here, we are here early this morning. Happy Saturday. I am Kimberly Holmes Ross with Evanston Cradles to Career, where we work with over 40 partner organiz organizations and agencies to make Evanston the most equitable place it can be. You see, it's early, I'm a little tongue tied, but we are here. So I want you to call your friends, call your family, say, hey, we're on the air early. Take this moment and share it because I'm not sure if you got a notification because we're usually on at 10, but we are on live on Radio La Difference, our favorite, favorite platform. Um, so go to that channel or go to our page and just begin to share it so people will know that we're on. And guess what? You can go back and watch it later after you get on out of bed and had your lunch or something. So we will continue to run this because you don't want to miss the show today. So good morning, Mr. Mann. Good early morning. Thank you for having us. Good morning, advocates. Thank you guys for being here with us. And we have a special guest this morning. We have a special guest this morning. We have some gems in our Evanston community. And our guest this morning is certainly one of them. She does so many things. I think I'm going to read just a little piece from because I won't do her an injustice. So I will just read a little piece of what she sent me. And then we'll just jump right into it. Minister Natisha Waldron is one that can take a vision and build a team to carry into reality. Natisha says the desire is to ensure the people of today are dreaming beyond current circumstances and are aware of the dreams that God has placed in their hearts is why I work so hard. Her tough upbringing has given her a compassion and strength to help others grow to their full potential. Natisha is a bivocational healthcare administrator, entrepreneur, and minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And she didn't even, wife, mother, author, I mean, the list goes on and on and on. And we are impressed and glad to have you this morning to end our Women's One Month with a phenomenal woman. So good morning. Good Minister. morning to you. Thank you so much. I am uh, I'm humbled. Thank you for having me. It's um it's really excellent to be here this morning. Pardon me one second. Thank you so much for having me, um, Kim. I am really excited to be amongst um, several amazing women, including yourself. I am often um always enamored and like touched by your light i i appreciate the encouragement i appreciate um the joy and like you have this faith that doesn't exist everywhere to where you can hear something good or something small and believe in the person to the point where they walk away believing in themselves so i wanted to to thank you because our last conversation really radiated um, some depth of possibility in me. Um, I have been dreaming and kind of holding on to it. And, you know, you have to put your dream in the right ears, right? And so I wanted to thank you for having the right ears, for having an open mind and an inclusive personality that's always welcoming and willing to shine your light that you've worked so hard to build on other people. So thank you so much uh, for having me and being kind and being loving and being a sister. Well, well, thank you. You sure got me going this morning. I sure appreciate that. And I do believe, I believe in you. I believe in yeah. our community. We're going to be all right. And we're going to be all right with people yes. like you reinvesting and putting their time and energy and love into it. So thank you too. So tell us, tell us a little bit about your story because you do so much. I mean, Mr. Man, we might, we're, we're going to try to be on time. We know you got stuff to do, but tell us a little bit about your story. Well, I um, am one of three children. I was born in the city of Chicago to two young parents. Um, what can I say? My upbringing was, was challenging. And um, I had a mother that um, overcame addiction, but for many years of my young life, that caused me to carry a lot to mature early, to experience certain traumas uh, that kind of leave a stain on some adults. And um, I'm grateful, you know, to God for seeing me through that. Um, I wrote a lot about it in my book, but 
um, when you overcome enough and you have a lot of people that look out for you along the way, I just did. I will run into people, I mean, people on drugs on the streets that just saw something in me and will be like, no, 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 come here. And they would drop gems and they would share moments uh, with me in my life that I felt a bunch of devastation. I wanted to self-destruct and the Lord just wouldn't allow it. He put people in my path to just save me from myself. You know, before I had a desire to love, to learn, to grow beyond my circumstances, it was other people that came along and really spoke into me and told me, you know what, it's going to be all right. Or God loves you or, you know, it gets better tomorrow. Because I didn't, you know, I didn't have really many plans on living be be past the age of like 2021. 20, um, I was in the streets, I gang bang, what can I say? But, you know, fast forward, um, I, as I got older, I started to see um, those people in me right? The person that's going to pull somebody to the side and, and like, you know, we see young men on the streets clowning, all them thugs. No, young man, come here and, and start speaking life into them. Young woman, you know, hold your head up. Don't let a man speak to you like that. Or you don't deserve that. You didn't deserve that. And giving people an awareness of themselves and awareness of like the good that's in them and what can come if they just make it through this present circumstance. And, um, I, you know, that's my passion. Uh, I serve in healthcare. I initially entered into healthcare as a nurse um, to go to nursing school. But if, if anybody has ever worked in emergency, it's gory and you got to have a stomach for it. And I realized later I don't. Um, so I learned um, the business side and um, I work as a healthcare administrator. But over the years, I have seen um, a lot of devastation in healthcare. People live and die in hospitals. And I, you know, I've seen it. And being on the business side of that, there is an awareness of who's passing away. Um, the things that are um, factors in the community that contribute to premature death, um, that will awaken something in you. And if you have the passion and the power, you should change it. Um, I don't, when I see something happening, I don't see it as it's happening to them it's happening to us, right? And and taking ownership of my community, wherever the Lord placed me, I'm gonna work. I, I wanna make a difference. And trust me, a lot of days I'm tired, so I try to ignore stuff, but I just can't. So, and I appreciate that because nobody ignored little old me walking down the street when I was tore up from the floor up, self-destructing, and didn't have the hope that I needed to like see right now, you know? So I, I just, it's my life's work to do that for other people. So yeah, that leads me down many avenues, but ultimately um, I love to connect with women and encourage them and uh, use their light to encourage me on days that I don't have the strength to do what I need to do. So um, yeah, that's that's, that's uh, my summary and synopsis. That's, <laughs> that's what's behind the heart, the smile, and sometimes, uh, I don't know what, the rough exterior, I am a passionate, I am a passionate person and um yeah I love heart so we can feel it we can feel it through yeah. the screen I hope y'all can feel it through your phone <laughs> and, and through the radio um we do have the opportunity to speak life and and, and thank you for reminding us yes. reminding us and how much it means to someone you know to 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 take that moment that moment in time and speak life instead of speaking that negativity it's always so easy to, to we got to do it. So we got to do it. Yeah. Yep. What we see now really doesn't matter, you know, and, and believing that we, we have, we can make a difference. You know, I always think about when people like shoot up schools or when people do things like that, like how many people had the ability to impact that person and really could have changed thousands of lives. Right. And if we, if we steady ourselves and believe that, if I stop, if I smile, if I say hello, everybody's going through something. And for, as far as I know, it could be worse than what I'm going through. So I'm going to assume it's worse than what I got going on and put what I put my feelings to the side and say hi. And say, you know what I'm saying? Man, you look pretty today. Like, oh, sis, you wore that, you know? And yeah. that helps people get through life. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah what a great humbling 
lesson. Yes. And and you, and you mentioned your book, and we're going to talk a little bit more about that because I had the honor of going to her book signing, and this is a book y'all want to get, so I, I'm going to make sure we have some time to talk about that. But I want to get into the whole woman fitness. Yes. That's we're here this morning. We, we're here for the whole woman fitness. At the end of Women's Month, I, I said, well, this is just the perfect fit. <laughs> you see how I did that? Come on. <laughs> for, the, <laughs> for the whole woman <laughs> fitness. So tell us about it. Tell us how it came about. Tell us how we can get involved, what it is. We're here for it. Because I, I know Jamie and Ty want to get in and hear all about this as well. Yes. Um, thank you so much uh, for highlighting Whole Woman Fitness. So Whole Woman Fitness is a concept that caters to the whole woman. So it speaks to the mental, to the physical, to the spiritual and emotional part of a woman. It's what makes us whole. And a lot of fitness programs is going to, you know, work on your body alone. If you go to church, they're going to work on your spirit. If you go to a therapist, they're going to work on your mind. But really, we're whole beings. And a lot of times we have a lot of deeply seated trauma that's unaddressed that'll stop us from attaining our best physical goals. We have deeply rooted um, experiences that have given us filters that stop us from seeing our be our best selves. And so um, before the pandemic began, you know, I, I had released the book and I was like, okay, I'm gonna go on tour and do all of these things. Um, and of course, everything got halted. And in that time, I mean, I gained 20 pounds. Did y'all gain them too? Um, <laughs> yeah, so amen. I, but you know, I have always really kind of been in fitness and I would go and I'll work out by myself. But what I lacked in working out alone was consistency. Um, really into my health. I want to, I want to look nice. You know, I, many, many women, and I, I know that I don't speak to an empty crowd right now when I talk about um, the poor self image. You know, we haven't been taught to love ourselves the way we should. We often, uh, tear ourselves down is something that we do not only in the black community, but women at large, not really feeling like we're enough. And so um, at the end of each class, we do affirmations to build ourselves back up to remind ourselves that one, we're enough. And then two, anything that we don't like about ourselves or our bodies with consistency, those things can change. Right. And so um, as I sat in the pandemic, you know, and had to be still like the rest of the world, one of the things I had vowed was to be intentional about my mental health. And so I, like, I see a therapist, I don't know about y'all. I've been through a lot, but like just the microaggressions that exist in the world will make you crazy alone. And it makes it hard to manage and maintain balanced emotions. And so carrying that stuff as a mom, as a wife, as a friend, as a daughter, you know, being, a, um, being on your job, like I've seen people walk off jobs because they just couldn't take one more thing, you know? And it wasn't what was happening in that moment. It was because of the things they hadn't addressed before they arrived. And um, so so that, that's the premise of Whole Woman Fitness, catering and, 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 and bringing attention to every uh, concept of the woman, going into those places and having discussions that are taboo, having discussions that are, you know, mental health, um, it's Mental Health March, by the way, at Home, Whole Woman Fitness. We're talking about our minds, how we feel. You know, mental health is, uh, depression is amongst the, one of the most diagnosed diseases and the most studied, but the least talked about. One in four adults are depressed. One in four adults are experiencing some type of uh, mental health issue, but we're not having those discussions because the world makes us believe that if we have something wrong with the way that we're feeling and thinking, that there's something wrong with us. And in fact, there's something wrong with you if you don't say anything about it. So Whole Woman Fitness is just about providing a safe environment that's going to intentionally highlight those issues and addressing them, educating ourselves and putting professionals before us that can answer the questions that we need to come out of those generational cycles of damnation, really, because if my mind ain't right, I can't run anything and my children will suffer. And that trauma that I leave them with, their children will suffer. And so we are talking about those things, but I'll tell you what we are, what we really do. We work out. So I um, I didn't think the Lord was going to leave me here, but I'm a personal, personal uh, certified personal trainer. Um, I had initially planned on hiring somebody to do it. The Lord didn't, didn't see fit. 
And so I went and I learned and studied the body. Like I said, I used to be a nursing student. So I'm intrigued with the body, um, diabetes, heart disease, obesity. Like I'm currently technically right now still considered obese, but that doesn't have to remain, right? Um, there, uh, a few people in my family near and dear to me have diabetes and their eyesight is poor. They have a lot of uh, diabetic nerve pain and things of that nature. When you start seeing that stuff run up on you, it, it should scare you, right? And, and we don't have to go down that path. And so physical exercise and diet choices are really what matters. So we, in our group, we have a meal plan. I eat carbs, but I'm losing weight. Baby, I'm, I don't want down a pan size. You can't tell me anything. Amen. And I'm grateful, you know. And so we work together twice a week right at Gibbs Morrison. Thank you. Uh, shout out to the city of Evanston for adopting the program as an official city program. And we work out an hour twice a week. We have a support group. We talk about, you know, our gains and our struggles during the week. We uh, chat it up on a text as people feel like contributing. And we just motivate each other. We stay consistent and we are having results in our bodies. At the end of our class, we're doing affirmations, you know, um, healthy affirmations. We ain't calling money to ourselves. We are just believing the truth about ourselves and everything that we don't like. Listen, we're, we're working to change it. You know, we're working to grow. We're working to see ourselves properly. And at the end of the day, we looking good. You know what I'm hey, saying? So that's, hey. that's a nice little perk. <laughs> that's so that is for a woman fitness. Home yes. Home fitness. Ty, yeah. Jamie, you guys had anything for Minister Natisha, because she's minister to us today. I will go. Thank you so much. Well, first, I want to thank you for showing up. I want to thank you for being black and beautiful. Good thank morning. you for calling out. <laughs> Good morning. Thank you for calling thank out uh, Miss Kim, because she is uh, just like just knowing Miss Holmes and knowing Miss Kim and just being able to take it to this generation and then feeding into our generation, feeling us like I might start crying, but Thank you so much. And thank you for preaching this morning. Give me, I was like, Lord, let me get off this camera for a minute because it is a lot. You've given us a lot this morning. And I'm grateful to God for you this morning. Thank you so much. Thank and you. what I wanted to say is um, I'm just so proud of you. I'm proud of you um, mm -hmm. being of my generation. I'm proud of you of being bold. And I'm proud of you of being your honest self, like just showing up as you. Oftentimes, Black women um, tend to want to show up or feel like they have to show up as someone else. They can't be themselves. They can't be uh, vocal without being labeled as aggressive or with an mm -hmm. attitude, whatever. We have to water ourselves. Yeah, we have to water ourselves down in order to be even remotely respected. And we see that in the recent confirmation that we have going on right now. So I just want to thank you just so much for being yourself. And okay. I'm going to get your book. I'm actually going to sign up because COVID did not do me right either. Okay. Come on. <laughs> gave me a, a little more hips than I was born with. I'm grateful. I thank God for it, but just wanting to be healthy and not yeah. necessarily thinking about losing weight, but just feeling great and being here yes. uh, for, for long, a longer time to be with my children um, yeah. and, and love them. And, and, and when you asked about being going to counseling, yes, Sam, yes, ma'am. I'm in counseling uh -huh. every, thir every Thursday morning. Um, I'm with my counselor and really being intentional about my mental health. So I thank you for being vocal about that. I thank you for yeah. sharing that with black women. I thank you for propelling that, that conversation going forward. And I just pray that God continues to bless your ministry. Thank you. Thank you. Um, God, and you good. bless us, uh, young women. So and anything we can do as advocates to support you, Please don't hesitate. I can, we can share our information. I'm here for it, sis. Thank you so much. Well, thank you. And I'm glad you asked. I need people to sign up for this class. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people don't know that we are there, but the city of Evanston has opened up a space for us at Gibbs Morrison, and we need participation. We're at the top of an eight-week class. Drop in. I'm, I'm offering one free class to everyone. You're not going to leave, so I can just give it away because you're going to sign up. The classes are inexpensive on purpose. Listen, let me whisper this. I pay $150 a month for the gym membership that I have, and this is $10 a class. I, I was intentional. I went to the city. I need this to be affordable so that people can take advantage of it. The classes are less than $10 each. Uh, it's 90, I'm sorry, 
ninety dollars for eight weeks. So that's like ten dollars and fifty cent a class, right? And that's just us paying for our space. What you're going to get in return is invaluable. One, the sisterhood. You know, you can't beat it. And then secondarily, you. I know what I'm doing. You know, we're we're working together and things are changing. We we need to be healthy. And um, there are people that are coming in that are taking time out of their professional lives to share with us. And so we are working to be intentional to put us before financial literacy people, mental health people. Um, I um, actually coach, um, like I said, I'm a minister of the gospel. I coach women. I want to spend time you know, discipling and make sure, making sure people are straight because somebody did it for me. So I appreciate you saying that. Tell me how to say your name. Tashia. Tashia. You can call me Tashia. Tashia. Yes. Tashia. Yes. Tashia. Yes. Listen, it's uh, 952. If you're not doing nothing, drop on around at Gibbs Morrison today at 1130. Come join the class. All you need is a bottle of water. Everything yes. else has been provided. And it's literally... You're gonna sweat. We we're burning like five to six hundred calories a class, literally, and things are changing. Um, so you'll see my little thick self in there for sure because on, I need it, honey. You're not gonna be the you're not gonna be the only one there. Let me tell you, I'm there. be in there. But I also wanted to say I wanted to ask you this, and you may or may not know. By it being a city, an official city, um program i wonder if families that are qualified for reduced rate for other city programs if they're eligible to get that reduced rate on yours if they needed it like they can the city if you have those, they can you know, they have the 50 percent off okay mm -hmm. yes they that's can. a great thing to have and a lot of people don't know that there ain't no off. excuses right yes. and there are no excuses no. there are no excuses them, you can give up that starbucks for two weeks and go okay get together. one week starbucks for, two, for a full week and go get yourself together. And, and that's the, get us all wrong. Uh, and that's the uh, thing. We pay for what's important to us, right? That's right. We, we purchase what's important to us. So I'm really working to, to raise awareness and make this important for us. So that we, I mean, I don't know what the point is in working hard if you don't plan on living to be here. Yeah. You know, I, I have friends that are, that have passed away in their forties, you know, and it's unfortunate. And listen, we just came out of a pandemic. The pandemic picked off the weak bodies. You know, it's it's hard to it's hard to say, but I've lost friends. You know, we really have to to educate ourselves on how to treat our bodies. We only have one of them, yeah. and not you, you know not to to focus in any way on the shallow. But a lot of the reason we don't have energy to make it through the day is because we're sluggish and lazy. And one of the first things that changed when I worked out consistently is my energy levels. When I have energy, I can be kind, right? When I have energy, I can show up and think thoughtfully. So I'm a, I'm a top performer on my job, you know, because my brain works. I'm not sluggish. I can think, I can speak eloquently. I can be kind to people. One of those things you said, we have to be palatable in business. They don't want to see your black girl attitude, right? You have to show up with joy and leave those things behind. The only way you can leave them behind is if you discuss them, if you process them, if you work through some of the, the traumas that exist in our community don't exist. People do not understand your trauma. Um, and in business, they may not have to. So our responsibility is to deal with the deeply rooted trauma that we're experiencing day to day and not only change it, but we have to deal with the stuff from our past. You know, we can't, or we walk around and it's a weight on our shoulders. So yeah, we get off work. We want to go sit on that couch, eat whatever we can find quickly and go to bed, right? So that has to change. There's so much life outside of the nine to five and we're finding it. We're having a good time. I wanted we to mention to, one other thing. It. We have before, to live it. I before you hush me. Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I do want to shout out yeah. our Facebook family. We got Miss Weather watching. Maya's watching. Hey, um, Jill Walker is watching. I see Tiffany Jackson, Advocate, and Miss Betty. Thank you guys hey. for watching. Miss Rose Cannon, thank you for watching. You have preached this morning. We have, <laughs> and we receive it. And we receive it. I want to give Jamie a chance to jump in. Oh, yeah. Hey, Jamie. Hi. So I just want to say you encouraged me today because there are days when I can literally motivate myself to work out and I'll do it like Monday and Tuesday. And then Wednesday comes and it's a cloudy day and I'm eating because I'm like, it's a cloudy day. 
I'm so discouraged. So to hear you speak, you know, how it all just becomes one and it's whole, it was really encouraging to me. So thank you. And, and I am going to join your class. So thank you. On Thursdays, uh, 6.30 p.m. and Saturdays, 11.30 a.m. We, we're going to have to add a class after this because you have motivated That's all of prayer. us. And I love that we're talking about, we're going to get our bodies together, but we're going to get our minds and spirits together. We This is all connected and I, I do believe the mind is so powerful it is yeah. so powerful and, and and it can drive you in the right or wrong direction that's it you know, that's um, it you know to be around a, a group of like-minded people um it, it's just a blessing and yeah. this, you have been a blessing to us Thank this you. morning you have Thank been a so blessing much. to us you guys morning. are blessing me Take us out. Take us out with some affirmations. Maybe we can all say them. If you're at home, you can say them. Take us out with some good affirmations to get our Saturday going. Okay. Um, come off mic and say them with you. All right. So um, I am the apple of my father's eye. I am, I am the apple of, apple of my father's eye. eye. Everything that I don't like about myself, I have the power and ability to change. Everything I don't like about myself, I have the power and ability to change. I am well. I am whole. I am whole. I am enough. I am enough. I am well. I am whole. I am enough. This is I'm gonna tell you, yes, I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to tell you this last one. What is the, let me see what I want to leave you with. I will be well and my body will perform at maximum capacity. Even, I will, listen, I will break generational curses and be healthy, even if it begins with me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we're breaking those generational curses right now, right here in this generation. Everything is going to change. And it's it's one little small step at a time. And so thank you guys so much for being here, um, for having me here, for allowing me to share. Again, Whole Woman Fitness is 6 30 p.m. on Thursdays and eleven thirty a.m. on Saturdays. You can drop in today. Um, worship and warfare. Let me see the book. I'm going to see if I can get it in there. Worship and Warfare. I can't get it in there with it. Anyway. share the link and we can share it. It can be found on Amazon. There we go. It can be found on Amazon. Um, nominal fee. But listen, I know it's changing lives because I'm reading it. I'm reading it and I sit up in my bed a lot of evenings and cry as though, you know, it was someone else who wrote it because it was. It's really uh, glory to God. And so Thank you guys so much. Hope to see you in class soon. Don't talk yourself out of it. You're going to be like, I ain't going to that class. It's raining outside. Listen, you can get more hair. You can't get a new heart. So y'all have a great morning. And thank you again. Uh, this has been an amazing <laughs> Saturday. Mr. Matt, thank you for getting us up, up early because you have got me motivated. We are ready to go. We are whole. We are well. We are enough. Y'all have a wonderful Saturday. We'll see. We'll see you next week. Take care. Thank you. Listening to Evanston Cradle to Career Advocates for Action on Radio Lot Difference Chicago. Please tune in again next Saturday at 10 a.m. for another show. Thank you.
You're showing us the way. You're showing us the way.